Good afternoon, everyone. Hope everybody is having a nice day today. Thank you for the people that have been watching me so far, which appreciated. Just to let you know that I'm also on Twitch in, under the same name, Lucha FM, and I'm currently doing a Newcastle save. I won in my first season with Newcastle, I won the Premiership. My second season, I managed to sign some, uh, um, uh, just, just think of the greatest players of all time, and I've got, well, one of them. And then some other really good players that come in as well. I won't spoil it. I'll let you have a look on the previous streams I have on my YouTube channel of that if you want to watch. But if you want to ever watch me live, then feel free to join me on Twitch. I'm usually online 2 p.m. most weekdays. So, yeah, feel free to come along and chat to me and let me know what you like and what you don't like about my streaming or what you don't like about my YouTube videos. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get cracking to where we. So when we finished off last time, we just signed. A f we just went literally through the championship and went for tried to go for a lot of their best players. So it's going to be like I said, a domination save here. We're just going to dominate the championship by basically getting all their players. We so far have signed. Have a look on here. So far signed since I've been here, these three players: Nicola Cavallina. He was a goalkeeper. Um, we signed him for 4.3 million, and he will be our backup goalkeeper. We also signed Joby Bellingham, or Yobi Bellingham, however you want to pronounce it. Very good player in the making. I was surprised to get him. And then we've signed Ethan Laid as well. Another really good player who could potentially be a future England international, really, in my opinion. Doing very well in but with Birmingham in real life, and I think a, a fair few Premiership teams will be going for him in the summer. But yeah, but I've also made other offers as well, so we'll we'll progress through them and see how we get on. Um, I don't think there was since the last episode. I don't think we sold anybody else in that. But yeah, we'll just keep going for a bit. See how we get on. There we go. Scouts to come back with him. I think they want too much money. Actually, do you know what? I'll have him as a transfer target. Let my let my director of football sort it. Hopefully, he can negotiate a good deal for us. Not that we need to be skimping and saving on money. Like I said, this save is not about that. Most of the saves I do are going to be like that because I that's how I like to play. I don't like being a big team. I'm just doing this save. And it'd be I thought it'd be a fun idea to do a YouTube series on while I'm getting used to streaming while I'm playing FM as well. So that's a that's a cool sounding name for a player, Zito Lumbumbo. Lumbumbo? Lumbumbo. Lumbumbo. We've uh, offered a quite a bit of money for him, so we hope he's good. Right, let's see. So uh he wants a new contract, so we'll offer him a new contract. No, we won't offer him a new contract because he's not worth it. We'll release him instead. Um, he's not good enough, in my opinion. Okay, is he worth signing? Yeah, he's definitely worth getting a new contract. He deserves one. And he wants an improved contract as well, so we'll give him one because he's definitely good enough. We'll send him out on loan as well. Sorry about that. Uh, right. right. He wants to go out on loan as well, so we'll send him out on loan. Um, we should reflect and go for his playing time status. Okay, so we'll change it to regular start then. Uh, Neil Moore play currently seen as a fringe player, but recommend we'll change him to regular starter as well. I thought we had uh, I might sell him to be honest. I don't think he 
we go back up, he's not going to be good enough. So I think we should sell him. But he's ready to become an important part of the under 21, so we'll just promote him. Okay, I want to do the same for him, so we'll promote him to the under 21s. Um, do the same for him as well. And I know we could just click on the this one, but I just thought I'd do it a little bit slower so you can see the players as well. I don't want to keep any of these players on loan, but I can't terminate the deals. I think he's already coming in for 2.6 million. I don't particularly want him, but I've got no choice. And we're delighted to report that you're a decent backer from the squad right now. That's good to hear. Might be ridiculed for saying this, but Joby Bellingham looks like he has the potential to be even better than Mohamed. I don't know, but I'll probably agree with you on that one. I wouldn't say it's as far fetched as you think. Ethan Laird has been developing really well lately. He's only just they've only just signed for the club. Uh, and looks like he could be end up being a key player for us and perhaps surpassing Seamus Coleman. What of course he is, because Seamus Coleman shouldn't even still be here. He's Leaving, uh, he's leaving soon. So yeah, so he will definitely be our first team right back. No, not signing you on a new contract, thank you. You're not good enough, Harry. You're not good enough, mate. Harry Tyra, off you go. Got no time for sentiment in football. Don. Sorry, Dan Neal looks like he's coming in. Still in a nice little young, mainly British team here. Which will be good when it comes to squad registration as well. And then it means potentially we can go for big players abroad. At the moment, we don't need to worry about that. So, what, 12 minutes? Okay. Uh, not good enough, mate. Not good enough. Me ten million. Talk, okay. So uh, Zito Lavombo. This player, I'm not even gonna I'm not trying to pronounce. Marwan the Ponton. There you go. I got it. And I was impressed by that. Yeah. More, more pay. You're off. Hopefully we can get George Hall in. No, we're not giving you back on loan. Iris Campbell's in. Let down by this signing, but we'll wait and see what he can offer. Worried with the poor form in front of goal. Okay, fair enough. Maybe I shouldn't have signed this player after all, but got 16 finishing. He's fairly professional. A bit off the ball. I think he'll do relatively well. And if he doesn't, I'll just sell him. So to Zamba, decent centre back cover. Brought in Sam McCallum, former Leeds, I think. Uh, Coventry, I apologise, Coventry fans. Former Coventry and Norwich player. Very highly rated. Also brought this player in, Jack Redoni, who I'd never heard of before. Come from Wimbledon, fair play. They produce some good young players, Wimbledon do, if I remember. That's Timon's in as well. Anthony Patterson's in as well. That's the goalkeeper sorted. I think that's pretty much. Yeah, let's have a look. By let's do it by possession. We'll just knock these down as well. Yeah, do this, filter by that. So we've got two goalkeepers, and then Bazuno will probably come in as well. Um, but even if he doesn't, I think we'll be all right for the goalkeeper position. We've got two decent goalkeepers fighting for that jersey. And then if we do this, left backs, we've got Hyman and McCallum. Laird can play there. If we still, we, if we somehow still have Grant Bright, he can play there as well. Um, we look at right backs as well. Look at right backs. So 
for getting rid of Mason Holgate as well. But um, I suppose we'd play Ben Goffrey there, but we've got Laird as our main right back. We could do with another right back. Have we got any? Are we going after? Just cash this in because my OCD will play off of it. Right, let's cash that in out of the way. Right, let's go back. So, we got any right backs coming in? Another left back. We've got right back. Yeah, we have. We're right for right backs. We're right for left backs now as well. So, um, let's have a look at central defenders. On well, he's going, he's probably going. So, we've got two right backs and Ben Godfrey. Decent, I suppose. Two M. Ben, two M. Debe, he's all right as well, but we need another centre back. So let's have a look here. Going to got I mean, Zach. Oh, there you go. The alley, the alley. Oh no, they that alley with two L's. Thought they were distantly. I thought they were somehow related. Then um, have a look at centre backs. Got Lewis Gibson coming in. Is that it? And we've got Nico Marmol. I'm going to cancel Harry Pickering because we've got too many left backs coming in. There's no point. We can do it by, yeah, we can do it by position here. There we go. Um, we've got three centre backs, four centre backs coming in, two right backs coming in. One, two, three. I don't mind having quite a few midfielders, centre midfielders, because some of them can go out on loan, like George Hall, for instance. Got a couple of wingers coming in. I think we're more than covered now. I think we'll just what we're trying to do now is try and get through as many days as possible. So we try and get all these signings in before the end of this episode. If I go a little bit quicker, I do apologise, but I will I will do an over, overview of all the signings before I leave. And uh, Deli Ali. Good old Deli Ali. Ellis Sims. That'll help with the homegrown. Homegrown registration, and he is pretty good as well. He is very tall, if I remember. I can't remember how, where, where it says height on here. Yeah. Six million offer for Morpay. Adam Ide is coming. Very spring it has come in. Then very spring it out on loan. He could do with he could more. He, he's better off getting some first team football somewhere else. Matt Garrett. Yeah. He's he's on loan. Yeah, he's on loan. Blackburn, so we ain't got to worry about him. Horace Dolan. Dolan has come in. Uh, what do we do with him? Right, we'll send him out on loan. Some of these players are for the immediate, and then some of them are for the future. But we're just building a nice young squad, English, British players. He's a very good prospect, he is. Definitely going out on loan. Need him to get first team football, preferably. Gavin Bazunu comes in, so that's our goalkeeper sorted. Ah, potential ability. Let's have a look. Report. Got the potential to be a good Premiership player, which is what we need. We need a 22 as well, so he could be our first team goalkeeper for many years. Lewis Gibson's rejoined us. Another good centre defender. Happy with that signing. Also, we get 30% back. So in the end, we got him for like two point something million in the end. It's a really good bargain when you think about it. On a Chapman comes in. I uh, have a uh, buyer's regret with him, but he's got good finishing. Just not. I think he'll be all right for the championship. We might look to get rid of him next season when we uh, we get back into the premiership straight away. Time Jordan James, who goes back on loan to Birmingham. Hopefully he can do well.
add him to the shortlist. I don't think we'll sign him because we've got loads of players coming in now. Same with him. He is a very good player, but we just we don't have space for him. Matt Grimes not good enough. Jerry Yates not good enough. He's pretty good. Do we probably another centre back? So we'll we'll sign him. Back up basically. Um, had you right, not good enough. He's pretty good, but we don't need any more right backs at the moment, so we'll just add him to the shortlist. Silver Thomas isn't good enough, as far as I'm concerned. He's pretty good. Add him to the shortlist. We don't need to sign him. He's very good, but we don't need any more left backs at the moment. He's very good, but again, we're covered in that. I think every position we're covered now, so I think it's just processes now just getting these deals done for the end of this episode try and get them all in and then next episode we can just literally get through pre-season hopefully eventually in, in a couple of days time we'll be able to get to the first game of the championship a new record previous record was nathan collins we've managed to break that record for irish player that's good we're apparently after him. Scouting. No, that's not good enough. Uh, no. Don't want to loan out Ben Godfrey. Thank you. Want to, if you want to buy him, you can buy him, but I'm going to offer a new contract anyway, so that'll stop all that talk. We'll try and loan him out. There's Roman Dixon alone. He's going to go to Halifax. Just compile a uh, match reports on him, see how he gets on. Happy that we've sent him out on loan. Always good to know. Ah, uh, we didn't get, we didn't get spendy. Okay. Right, so we don't need to worry about goalkeeper anymore. You need to get him on a new contract. We're not losing him. Seven for Holger. That seems a bit, a bit rubbish. Don't accept that. We've got rid of Frank White. I said in the long term, it will work out well for us, even though it's a bit of a rubbish one in the way. But yeah, he, he wanted to leave. We had no, uh, we, had to, we have to get rid of players that want to leave because they just end up disrupting the rest of the dressing room. We don't need it. Like I said, we ain't got to worry about money. I might go for a Ross Bar thing. Bring him back to his boyhood club. Oh, we didn't get Zaragoza. Don't think uh, Barkley will come to us, but you never know. Came enough, he might. No, but that's a shame. Be nice to bring him back just for nostalgia reasons. Sam after Nam Neil, so I don't think we'll get him now. I send Bolch out on loan. Sign Tommy Conway. Sign Marple. Mar Marmal, sorry. Marmal. Mika Marmal. Offrey to Wilkinson. He's a very good player, he is. The reports for a good premiership. He's already a decent premiership player, so he'd be a very good signing. Of course, to sign him, we've got too many, signed too many centre backs now. Um, okay, let's look at transfers. Let's search by position. Oh, wait, here we go. 
get rid of we'll cancel that one. Um we'll sign him only because he's quite versatile in the positions he can play. Won't sign Lewis Travis. Probably won't get Dan Neal. Maybe we'll get George Hall. And we've got quite a few wingers coming in. Well, but I think what I do with these two is I send them out on loan. Need another, I don't think we need any more strikers by the looks of it. So we're, our team's our squad shaping up nicely now. We're um, doing some decent ish squad management. I would say we're probably signing too many players, but I always like to have a big squad. And if I've got the money, why not? Any players that are unhappy not playing, I'll either loan them out or sell them. No, they're not, they're not going to be here in a couple of years' time if I'm. I was doing this as a long-term say, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, Shea Charles is in, former Man City player. Uh, be a potential Premiership standard player. I'm Josh Major, Major. Assume it's pronounced Major, not Major. Well, send him out on loan. Versatile player, Rankin Costello comes on, and we've also signed Brooke Norton Cuffey. We do for time. Yeah. Right. Seven so next ten minutes. Hopefully, we can get all the transfers done. into the shortlist. Actually, I think he'd be a good player to have, to be honest. Uh, we'll leave it for now, because I don't think we've got the money. We've got other players that are going to sign. I will add him to the shortlist. We don't need any center backs. Add him. We don't need any works. Him as well. Be on the shortlist. Him. He'd be a good strike a good striker to sign up quite cheap. Him as well. Him. Him. Not just good enough. I'm not gonna sign Lyndon Dykes, he's not, not good enough. I think I just wanted to sign him because he was a Scotland international and he's pretty good at heading. I thought he might be like a secret weapon, like a key for more type of thing. Yeah. Thatcher falls, but that is expected. I'm down to the championship. Ah, uh, we didn't get Jonathan Rowe. Didn't get chair either. And we've got nobody wanting to do on loan. This probably will take a, a bit of time to process until we get into the second season. Second season onwards will process quite quickly. It's just it's just because the fight this particular file. Uh or, or not, before I carry on. Edmonton received a parachute payment of 41 million. That's not too bad. We'll have that. But yeah, um, because the guy that had this data file that um, has the Everton save them on, had a lot of the a lot of leagues on there. Um before I, before I started the game, the first thing I did before I started the video was I uh, deleted a lot of the 
leagues that he had. It was kept by most of the European leagues. He had all the all the leagues in Argentina and Brazil. So it, it is going to make it slower for that reason, but there's nothing we can do about it until they disappear. That stages not happy. Yeah, Sorry, I went too fast there. I do apologize. Um, Mason Holgate's contract expires, but it doesn't matter because we're going to try and sell him. We feel that Nicola Cavallina need considered registration for the upcoming. Oh, that's fine. Yep, I've registered both of them definitely, and them. Um, so I will offer the contract. Um, taking off the loan list. Okay, I will take it. Okay. I believe that Ellingham's ability is better suited for you. Okay, that's fine. He won't be happy about it. Okay, we'll just into the other. Oh. So, uh, Mackenzie Hunt has been developing recently. He looks like he could become just as good as Connor Chapman. Okay, that's good. So, we'll, hopefully, he'll progress well. Increasing opinion is that this Knight has the potential to become a key player for the club, perhaps slightly surpassing the ability of attacking midfielder Jack Harris. And Ellis Sims has been developing very well. Like I say, I find these type of things boring, so I do apologise. I know some people love that type of stuff, but I just can't stand it. Yeah. If I'm bored, you're going to be bored, aren't you? You want me to be excited about the save, and bits I do like to be excited about is recruitment and getting the matches done and stuff like that and playing the matches. I don't really like doing the press conferences and the interactions and stuff like that. Opening day, we're playing Watford away. The first game of the championship season, pardon me, and then we've been playing Coventry away on Boxing Day, and then we've got Plymouth in the final day of the season. I need to so catch up with the wrestling at the moment. I just I've been I'm so I haven't watched the last week and a half of AEW, including the pay per view, and watched WWE last week, but mostly because um I had a bit of time on the weekend. My my girlfriend likes watching WWE, but she's not she's not really watched much AEW and I don't wanna I don't want to make her watch too much wrestling because she'll get bored and then and then, and then I'll have, and then she won't want to watch it all then. Oh, we didn't sign George Hall. Shame. Um, PJ Jones. Send him out on loan? Probably. Hopefully he'll get first team football and develop and Come back in the second uh, next season as a really good player, maybe a good option to have on the bench with, when back in the Premiership, maybe, or we could just potentially sell him and make money off him that way. Go back in for O'Hare. Like that. 
I know Daniel went to West Ham, which I thought he would anyway. Going for Brian Saragossa now? Didn't he just go to Lille? Went to Lille? How's that possible? Oh, we're probably getting him alone, aren't we? Oh, we didn't get him anywhere. Uh, Ponton signed for us. When did he join? 14th of July. Okay. Signed Zito Levonvo. Player that we could probably take with us into the Premiership and do a decent job there as well. Too good for the Championship, if I'm honest with you, but we're not going to complain. 22 years old, that's potentially a good Premiership player. Very good dribbling, very good flair, so he's going to be very exciting for the fans. Fairly ambitious as well. We'll either make money on him when we sell him, but he'll be doing really well. All plays gone to Mallorca. Those. They've accepted the offer for Callum O'Hare. Wait for this to save. Um. Right there. But off the Tony bring it. I'm gonna uh call this an episode to an end. Thank you for everyone who watches this. As I said, feel free to um find me on Twitch as well and watch me on there. Feel free to contribute to the chat on there. It always makes it a lot easier for me. And if I feel like I'm talking to someone and talking to myself. I appreciate that. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. As always, give us a, a like on the video. It makes a big difference. And please feel free to subscribe as well. If you want to see regular content from me, I will be um, producing videos every day moving forward. So, yeah. So, thanks a lot. Enjoy the rest of your day and all the best.